Hi everyone, myself and Arun Kumar from SS College of Technology in the Department of EC. In this uh, video, I am going to share about elements of transport protocol in transport layer and application layers. So initially, the elements of transport protocols are uh, addressing and connection establishment, connection release, flow control and buffering, multiplexing and crash recovery. So these are all some elements which are to be used for transport layer protocols transport protocols uh, so the transport protocols are the medium which is used to access the information based on the nodes so the, here they are given about uh, two type of uh, data link layers uh, first one is environmental of the data link layer and second one is environment of the transport layers so based on these two uh, layers only we can able to uh, transfer the information first one is uh, data link layers so initially the data has been fetched from the data link layer then only it has to be forwarded to the transport layers based on the routing techniques so the router is the source which is used to connect and forward the information to the next medium or next devices addressing so whenever we have added more number of devices to the particular uh, node then we can able to uh, fetch the information based on the addressing models so the addressing is one of the technique which is used to share the information from source to destination based on the IP address. So the IP address are the source uh, which is used to forward the information to all the devices which are to be connected by using the addressing model so that it can able to transmit all the information to the all the type of devices. So here they are given about uh, connect host one to host two. So the same type of uh, addressing information has been forwarded to the host 2 model. Connection establishment. So here we can able to connect a transmitter and receiver because the transmitter is the source medium and receiver is the destination medium. Uh, whenever you can forward the information from source to destination, uh, the uh, connections are one of the important one. If your connection is failed or not getting any information from the destination means then we have to check the host one model so that we can uh, able to identify the fault of the concern uh, medium. After rectifying the fault of the concern medium we can able to transmit the information to the destination one. Connection establishment. Once if you are having any errors uh, occur during the transmission means we can able to forward the data once again. So that uh, re-synchronization is essential, uh, essential needed thing for making a connection to the destination end. Connection establishment. Once if your uh, uh, destination is uh, not receiving your information, then we can uh, able to check your uh, source one. So that the source is the only value which is able to transmit the information to the destination. Uh, once we are rectifying your connections, then you can able to transmit your data. Connection release. Uh, initially, the data has been uh, sent to the host to one. Then, after getting a proper acknowledgement from the source destination one, then we can able to transmit the data once again. Then, the data is acknowledged by the host to one. If it is having any errors. No data are delivered after a disconnected request. No, no, no data request. Once if you are getting any errors, then we need to check the data once again. After finalizing the data, then only it can able to transmit the data to the host two model. So here one of the other port which is accessed by the uh, host two model. So in this one. Initially, first data has been received successfully. After one after another, then the second host will not receive the data properly. So that the particular model alone need to check once again, and it can able to transmit the data from host one to host two. So that we can avoid the last the packet lost of the concern host two model. So connection release. Uh, so not only not only we are receiving the data for uh, uh, host two model, we can able to receive the data, or uh, we can get the packet loss information based on the uh, data connections. 
it may be occur wherever the data has been lost during the transmission so the picture shows about uh, transmission loss during the data information during the data transfer so the second diagram shows that uh, if it is data has been lost due to the uh, data transmission means then it cannot able to transmit the data to the host one model so that the host one may not get the information from host two so it won't transmit any data to the host two one so that it can be uh, make it as a lost model lost one so here the, the diagram shows that initially the data received from the host one the host to receive the data once receive the data it just forward the acknowledge to the host one at the time the acknowledge is not getting the host one means then the data has been lost even though it is not received the host one acknowledgement the data has forwarded to the data receiver to the host two means then it is also a possible one because the particular data only lost the remaining data has been forwarded to the data's host one so it is one of the technique so which kind of data has been uh, uh, lost or which we which will data which kind of data we need to avoid so that we this model which will be used for identify or deleting the data which are not supported to the host one flow control and buffering so flow control is a first in first out model once if your data are received to the destination it is processed based on first in first out technique one if you are having any first priority means then automatically the data has been forwarded to the destination based on the priority one or else it may be more based on the data which is flow to the next level <coughs> multiplexing the multiplexing uh, is uh, the method which is uh, used for making the data able to transmit more number of information at the same time so that we can receive large number of information at the same time assessment uh, explain the concept of uh, window size in tcp uh, generally the window size are previously used in tcp model because the tcp refers to the amount of data that can be sent before receiving an acknowledgement from the receiver it is a flow control mechanism that helps manage the rate of data transmission based on the receiver's buffer capacity a large window size allows more data to be sent without waiting for an acknowledgement because of improving a throughput thank you